is this Holman family, in case you're wondering? Michael Berger. Yes, Christina Ferrari. Welcome, everyone. You know, today is the, the day before our last show. Yes. I think we can officially yes. say that. Yes, it's the day before our last show. So it's, um, yes. it's bittersweet, but we're still having fun. Oh, yeah, well, we're always we'll have, have fun. fun. I'm going to have fun uh, the day after the show, too. Oh, well, that's how we're different. Uh, yeah, well, really? I'll just say, I'll sit in the trailer and wait for a lizard to go by. I'll just you know what? There. there won't be a trailer. You know, the, the, minute, the minute we're off the air tomorrow, you don't think that Bob George is getting everything. You know, he doesn't want to pay for the full day. He's paying for a half a day. Well, That's you know, it's it. kind of funny. You see me today without a jacket. As each day progresses, I, I wear less and less clothing because it all has to go back. Yeah, you have no pants on today. No pants. <laughs> I have no clothing in my trailer. I have to pull things out of my closet at home because, you know, it's just gone. They just take things. But, well, you, you know what? Well, we'll let him get into it because it'll get emotional and we'll do that tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Get emotional one day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All in one day. Can I big show today. We have, we have a big show. Family, friends, things. I know. And for the third time, he's back again to visit us. Brad Moore. Brad Moore. You do have pants on. I look. <laughs> You're the one who's coming up. I don't have pants on because I've been working. I told Woody I haven't worked this hard since I left the farm. <laughs> hey, we're not doing something special here at Home and Family. Yeah, they have me painting the walls. I don't know whether they're trying to sell the place or what. The wall. Yeah, oh, you'll see it in a minute. Yeah, because it's going to be yeah. something that we'll These are my new Jack Nicholson glasses here, in case you're I like them. Like they look good on. It covers up the bags. <laughs> You look good, and you're also releasing a new CD. Yes, General Hospital has a compilation disc out now with Dave Cos, one of your favorite Oh, I love him. He wrote the theme to, or he redid the theme to our show. And then I have a couple of tracks on the album, and, and it's Wally Kurth is on there. Yeah. It's a very, very good. And actually, it surprised everybody because we went, we entered the charts. It's a technical talk. We entered the charts at 61 and jumped up to number 22. We sold like 100,000 in the first two weeks. Wow. So we're chasing the Titanic soundtrack. Oh. A little behind. <laughs> we're, well, if it's just a fraction of your viewers thought, you'd be all right. Huh? That's what I've been telling them. If yeah. you guys would get off your sofa and buy our <laughs> album, <laughs> we, the home show could have another uh, year. It'll put it all in. Yeah, right. And it'll put, you know, they'll put it to that. And he made us cry now. I can't believe you guys are going off. That's the problem. Don't worry about it. All right. You never know. You get a call from the governor? You know, I think we're like that. Yeah. Yes. A last minute retreat. I think the prisoners have a better shot at it. Yeah, right. All right. Also, making their, like, last visit to our house. And we followed them since they were three months old. First, get a shot here. Don't get a shot on them yet. Take a look at the. Do you know who these guys are? Look how cute. Look at them. The Shire Quinn. Look how cute. All right. And yeah, they, two of them are not here today. They're shooting a commercial. I guess they did all right. Yeah. <laughs> Scott is here. We also had Scott. And Scott was 28 at the time. Look at the baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's how beautiful they are. Yeah. They get to be Mr. Mom today. Yeah. So they're, they're shoot, what kind of commercial are they shooting? Um, they're doing a catalog for Eddie Bauer. They're called yesterday morning and said, hey, come on up tonight for uh, All Day Shoot Tomorrow. Oh, just the boys? Just the boys, yeah. Oh, okay. Right. And then we're taking off for their first plane trip on Thursday. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. All five. That all five. By the way, I'm all the train, Scott. If you're <laughs> why, why, why? Five babies on one plane? Uh -huh. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it's like to take the boys One time time we have got one plane yeah. on United, yeah. Do you have, are you going, uh, just the two of you? Do you have a third? We have another couple that's going to fly with us. Oh, Thank yes. you for Marty and Jeff. Yes, <laughs> my God. It's the United flight from <laughs> L.A. to where? Sort of L.A. Yeah. So now you know how to book around that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to Seattle, Washington. Correct. Oh, that's for two hours. Did you see the oh, stewardess walking up when you walk out? That's the one. Oh, <laughs> that's the first you got to think about. How about the passengers when somebody walks oh, yeah. by with five hey, babies? But you know our kids are wonderful. Oh, they'll they just are. sit there and they'll smile. Hey, you hold on to that story, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to take a look at the update on your house. Fantastic. It is wonderful. Right. I can't right. wait. You guys have just been fabulous. Very good. Very, very good. Well, you've been a blessing in our lives, too. So. Thank you. Can I show you a couple of things here? Yeah. I'm very proud of my sister who's on today, who you won't see until oh. the mid the break of the show. Sister agreed to a makeover. We're doing teacher oh, makeovers today. That's right. This is a teacher. teacher. But she's an artist first, and we put a couple of her paintings up around the house. And your sister's name is Sandra. Sandra. I took this actually out of my house today to bring out. She does great figurative drawings. And they're uh, it upside down, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my sister's work, you can get into the narrow. It says, all right, you idiot, the other way. Oh, there's nothing you get a shot of the bigger one here on the wall. Yeah. 
Right. You're just such a pro. Oh, it's great. And here to give the glam hair in stylist to the stars is Kim. Kim Bo, oh, how are you? Good, good, good. What are the stars that you've worked with? Wow, we our salon is so fortunate to have Sharon Stone, Gwyneth Paltrow, Terry Hatcher. Wow. Uh, a new one would be uh, Rob Esses for males, doing okay. blonde tips. Really? Do you get Sharon new haircut? Actually, I only do color. Uh-huh. Laurent gave her the cut. Beautiful. Oh, we took her cut. from long to short. Yeah. It's Beautiful. Wedding. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You did her hair short, too. Absolutely. You just did a Liv Tyler. She got her hair cut, too. Yep. Did you, you guys do her, too? Yeah. Did you we do all her? Did it. We all did it. Ashley Laurent cuts. <laughs> it looks fabulous. Someone tell my sister she's in good hands. Uh, it's <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's We're great. on the cutting edge, and it's really great. Great. Lawrence, well, are you going to dress them? Speaking of cutting edge. I, cutting edge. Man. And today we're going to do some fashions, and I'm going to show you that you don't have to break the bank to be, get some new fashions, uh, some great makeover things. And, Laura, do you, do you work out at Gold Gym? Well, no, but I just... <laughs> <laughs> have you noticed? Have you noticed? But, Christina, I want you to know you have a fan. I do work out at Gold Gym in Hollywood, and the guy that trains me... Did you just start? I've oh. been going for about a month. And a half. <laughs> Remember the earthquake we had years ago? We had the big earthquake years ago, and I lost everything. Chest, arms, legs, dog. <laughs> so, I was, I was... I've been waiting for FEMA to come back, so I decided to do it on my own. But at Gold's Gym, they have upstairs the life cycles and the treadmills, right. and they play Home and Family oh. on one of the TVs. So when they found out that I was on the show, they wanted me to come and bring hats, oh. baseball caps, and Christina, Vinny, my trainer, is Vinny. a fan of yours, Vinny. Vinny, And I'm Vinny okay. says that he will train you for free whenever you want to come down. You tell Vinny he's got it. That's okay. This is this for oh. you? This oh, is for Vinny. you, and I got a hat for you, Woody. Oh, great. Right. Right. And for those of you that work out at the Hollywood Gold or want to work out at the Hollywood Gym, Gold's Gym, or in Redondo Beach, if you mention Home and Family, you get two free weeks. Wow. So, you can have a body like this. <laughs> it's coming back. It's coming back. You know, oh, I you know it was great right up to that yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs>
her on that. No, I don't <laughs> pity you on that at all. Go to the bright light. Press no. those buttons. Press those buttons. <laughs> <laughs> my feeling. Which means she only has one feeling. I, 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 I want you to make her hurt. hurt. Too bad. Uh, I don't like you. To me. Go away. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Stephen Fry, author of Bitter Pills, is here today. And I'm just following what? Well, <laughs> this is serious, though. This, this is serious because a lot of doctors all the, I mean, prescribe drugs that actually can hurt people, and I understand that your wife was affected by that. Welcome. Sure. So welcome. Thank what does it mean, me. swallowing a bitter pill? Well, you know, anything that's strong enough to make you better can, in some cases, make you worse. So my wife had an adverse drug reaction and got me interested in doing investigative work on this. And with all the drugs being taken off the market these days, I think people are really worried about the FDA, about the drug business. And so I, I tried to write about it to give people some insight into what they can do to make themselves safer. Does it also apply to all of the holistic remedies that we're seeing? No, not really, although I'm sure some people read the book and then flee to holistic remedies yeah. and they're right. afraid. But no, it's just about prescription and over-the-counter drugs. Is, is your wife all right now? She's okay today, but it took many years of different really? treatments to get her there, and she had a very severe adverse drug reaction. Wow. Wow. One pill. From one pill, today, many years? Today we'll learn what not to take, okay? Eh?